starting up Mirkholm Keep today. Bjorn Ironclaws sent you? I have heard your name before. The folk of Grizzleheim sing your praises. Let us see if they speak fairly. Scouts sent by the wolves are harrying our forces daily. Even now they ready themselves for another attack. If you wish to test your courage and your battle skill, lend us your strength in this struggle. Go and defeat a Moonstrider scout in battle. It will slow them down enough for us to ready our own attack. I see you came back unharmed. Good work there. The wolves will be slow to stick their snouts near this camp again. We have need of stones for our catapults, but the land around here is bare of them. We gathered the ones we could, but in the night, the canyon ragers came and took all our boulders. Will you go and take boulders from the canyon ragers? When you have gathered enough of them, take them to the catapults. It is heavy and difficult work, but necessary. Young wizard, I have an offer you can't refuse. Come see me in Old Town when you so that's, I know a guy. Now that we have established a bond of trade between Grizzleheim and Wizard City, all wizards can benefit. I have a trade partner in Grizzleheim who can help you learn some new magic. How does that sound? Go to Northgard in Grizzleheim and speak to Eric Weirdroom. He knows where new spells can be had and he will share them. All right, I know a guy. Welcome. I am a seeker of knowledge. The mysteries of runes and magic are mine, but I will share them. Thief of spells. I do modest trade dealing with spells, and would greatly enjoy sharing my spells with a wizard of Wizard City. There is one problem, though. A minor one you may be able to help me with. A warlock named Wagner Rune Thief stole my spell scrolls from me. Wagner skulks in a cave in Murkholm Keep, a place I cannot go. If you can go to Wagner Runethief's cave in Murkholm Keep, defeat Wagner, and get my spells back, I will gladly share a spell with you. Ah, who dares? Did that fool Eric Weirdrun send you? No matter. I'll send you back where you came from. Okay, I don't think this boss is uh, Mickey Mouse like the others, so... Oh yeah, he's got a Winterwing Guard minion. Dude, I might just want to... Hey, why do you not have a snow angel? Uh, tough. <laughs> Let me just do a little bit of this. Stand nearby. Perhaps that's where Eric Weirdrun's spells. Are. These look like the spells Eric described. They have his rune upon them. My spells. Thank you so much. I am as good as my word. Here is a spell for you. Legion shield, baby. Gas. Excuse me. There's been an oversight. Apparently, you're due for another spell. One your professors aren't teaching you. You'll hear from Baldur Goldpaws when he thinks you're ready to learn the spell. It may involve going into Winter Tusk in Grizzleheim, so you should become familiar with that area. Yeah, I'm working on it, Mr. Lincoln. Don't you worry. Place the boulders near the catapult. Once again, you have done well. Bjorn was right to speak so highly of you. Our assault is almost ready, but we have yet to test their defenses. We have a saying. Best to know the tree's height before you start to climb. You do not look like one of us, so you will not alert them if you go to their gate and provoke them. Go and inspect the wolf's gate and test the skill of their defenders. You inspect the main gate of the wolf fortress. It is sturdy and well fortified. It will easily withstand any assault. It is ill news you bring, but we are better for knowing it. We must change our plans for the assault. 
That will take some time, so you can best aid us by gathering word about the camp. One of the wolves has joined our number. He does not believe the lies they say about us. He is called Wolfric Bosebane. Go and speak to him. What manner of warrior are you? Do not think I am a traitor. I am loyal to my people, but they are being lied to. So, I am unwelcome there. I do not believe the bearers are allies of the Red Claw. A raven named Moonin Mistweaver came to us with a captive bear, Thane Ivar Anderson. Moonin claimed that Ivar was leading the Red Claw against the wolves and offered the Thane to us as a prisoner. It is foolish to trust a raven. So, I did not believe Moonin. This war between wolves and bears is wrong, and I want to end it. Many warriors are wounded without good cause. If you wish to help bring peace to our people, go and speak to our healer, Ingolf Moonheart. He will tell you what can be done. The spirits of sky and night speak to me. They say that the one who will bring peace to this land is neither wolf nor bear. I wish only to help the wounded and to bring peace to both peoples. If Wolfric Foesbane can heal these wounded wolves, they will join him. I have run out of healing supplies, so I can heal no others until I have new supplies. Will you help me? I need wound wraps and aloe leaves. Most Moonstrider howlers carry suitable wrappings, and aloe leaves grow wild around here. They grow wild, but I'm pretty sure there's only one, so how about Those that? Those will be of great use. Wait for a short while. Ingolf takes a few minutes to make some healing wraps out of the wrappings and leaves. Did he howl? He didn't do any of that. If you would help me further, go and use these healing wraps on... The wounded wolves are named Reynard Icerunner, Rolf Mornsong, and Rurik Felbringer. Find them and heal them. Your aid will show them that the bears are their true allies and that they have been lied to by Moon and Mistweaver. When you are finished, Return to Wolfric Foesbane and tell him what we have done. He will be pleased. That rap is a balm to this poor wounded wolf. Debbie voice acting. I thank you for easing my you pain. You seem a wizard, but your hands are those of a healer. You have done much to help our cause, but there is much to do before there will be peace. I know the strength of the wolf army, and I know how best to hinder them. Wolves look to their strongest warriors for guidance. Higlak Shadowstalker and Otto Winterwatch are the greatest wolf warriors. If you defeat them, the other wolves will be uncertain and their courage will break. Now, your courage and battle strength are legendary. I am honored to help you forge peace between the wolves and bears. There is another matter you can help us with. Many warriors were lost in the caverns trying to find their way past the fort wall. It would be a great help if you could go into those caverns and find those lost warriors and tell them how to return. How strange that a child shall lead me. I thank you for helping me find my way. I am ashamed to have gotten lost, but grateful you found You me. have found our lost warriors and sent them back. You are a gifted hunter. Are you certain you're not part wolf? You have shown no fear in the caverns, and your bravery is without match. Wolves cannot fight without weapons. In the fort, there is a locked weapon storehouse, guarded by Skarl Doomhowler. If you defeat Skarl, take his key and raid the armory, the wolves will be without weapons. Those weapons will serve us well. Taking them from our enemies means less blood will be shed. I have heard tell of a magic dust that allows only truth to be spoken when it is thrown into the air. If we could use that dust on Moon and Mistweaver, he will stand revealed as a betrayer, his lies known by all. The Grendel shaman Herkir knows how to make such things. Can you get some of the magic dust from him? Beware his lies, though. Expect Herkir to dishonor any agreement he makes. You are brave enough to speak to me. What do you want? I know all things, Outlander. Secrets have no power over me. You have come for the dust of discovery, have you not? If you ask it of me, you must first pay me respect. I am hungry, and my head aches from the howling. Gather me a fine meal of stump worms from outside. 
and silence those howling banshees. Their wailing makes me angry. Now I can eat my meal in peace. Oh, hungry, are you? Well, you brought enough for us both. If you wish the dust of discovery, I must ask something of worth in return. The wolf leader Gath Duskwraith carries a golden spear called the Golden Dawn. Defeat Gath and bring me his spear. For such a fine gift, I will readily surrender the dust of discovery. Making rain pets without double pet XP would actually be impossible. Facts. Ah, the reaches are spawned. This little pond here is so good for cattail farming. <laughs> like, no troll. If you can get your hands on uh, the two regent square cantrip, if you just set a mark here and then use that cantrip, and then just like harvest all the cattail in just like the, the fountain, and then go into the Royal Museum and get the cattail from there, and then just TP back here with the mark, it gets you like 10 to 15 cattail per realm hop. It's kind of crazy. Let me see what you have brought for me. Now, that is a very fine gift indeed. Uh, now that I have a fine spear and a full belly, well, there's no need to show you any more respect. Leave me be. I'll not waste my dust of discovery on the likes of you. Go. I have no need to honor the bargain we struck. What will you do about it, little one? Well, uh, probably... Frost giant you to death, but that's just what I'm thinking. You know? I warned you to leave. Now you'll pay the price. hands you a small wooden bottle with runes carved all over it. It feels like it's full of dust. Tell your wolf friend, Wolfric Foesbane, that I honored our bargain. Did you get the magic dust? I hoped that the Grendel would treat you fairly and without lies. The king of the wolves is Varric Icefang, and he is within a runestone chamber at the heart of the wolf fortress. He keeps the captured thane, Ivar Anderson, in that place as well. The runestone chamber is warded by two locks that must be opened, and there are many guards along the way. Though bears would counsel a forward attack, I suggest a distraction. Set fire to a shelf somewhere, and defeat the guards when they present themselves. Once the guards are dealt with, your path to the Raven Moon and Mistweaver is clear. Confront him, use the dust of discovery, and reveal his lies. You set fire to the shelves. The fire is too small to hurt anyone, but will cause the necessary distraction on the lever, and the gate opens. You see, my wolf allies? It is as I said! The bears are in league with the Red Claw! They have sent their spy to destroy us all! Stop them! Tear them apart! Alright, please don't tower shield. That would really be nice. You throw the dust of discovery into the air. It swirls around the room. Only truth can be spoken now. I do not wish to reveal my lies, but I can speak no falsehoods. The bears are innocent. They are no allies of the Red Claw. One of the ravens took Ivar's shape and betrayed his people to the Red Claw. We brought Ivar here to anger the bears. 
My ravens have pitted bear against bear, and now bear against wolf. Our plan is... I must say no more. The ravens lied to us. They set us against the bears. But why? You must tell Valgar Goldenblade, the bear king, that the wolves were tricked into this action. We wish for peace once more. Tell King Valgard that we wish to meet with him and offer our regrets for this dark matter. You have done much to bring peace to the land. You are an ally to bear and wolf alike. Our greatest thanks are Oh, no, I did no wrong. I am ashamed of the things that were done in my name. The ravens betrayed the people of my village to the Red Claw. I know not why. You are the greatest warrior I have seen. If you were a bear, you would surely be worthy of being a king. Tell the own Iron Claws what has happened here. And how you ended this terrible war. Well, about that. Done with Mirkholm Keep. You rescued the Thane, ended the war between the wolves and the bears, and discovered that the ravens were responsible? Your fame will eclipse that of all the other heroes in Grizzleheim, as well as my own. Let other heroes take care of any new troubles. My people are deep in debt to you. You have earned a rest. But he's gonna immediately start talking to me. Check this out. Greetings, my friend yep. and ally. <laughs> the greatest honor Grizzleheim can bestow upon you is yours. An audience with our king, Valgard Goldenblade. He is the mightiest of Grizzleheim's warriors, and tales of his victories have no doubt spread across the spiral. Your fame has marked you as a great hero, so he is showing you respect by meeting with you. He may ask you for another great deed, so he can be sure that your reputation is deserved. King Valgard is in the Great Hall. He will speak with you now. All right. So, this is the young hero all of my people are telling stories about. I am honored to meet you. Your fame has spread throughout all of Grizzleheim. Fate has surely led you to this moment. I am now speaking with envoys from the Ravens and the Wolves, so that we might forge a newfound peace in Grizzleheim. But that peace is already in danger. A terrible old foe threatens our land once more. To counter it, fate has brought forth a new hero, you. Jotun, a fierce and massive Grendel, is one of the oldest and most deadly of his kind. He has issued a challenge to face you in combat. Jotun has heard tell of the battles you have fought against his kind and kin, and he wants revenge. He has two brothers, lesser in strength, but still mighty. Jotun and his brothers all dwell in the ruined undercity of Nidavalir, outside this very settlement. You have stirred Jotun's anger. Will you now deal with him? Five three brothers all at once, no balls. I'll give it i I'll give it one shot. But if I get just Merrick, then I'm definitely gonna go split him up. I might do Helgrin Warren, actually. I might do that. Because there is a yard bird in Helgrin Warren that I need to go get. So I will do that.
this mean this is open now? A few mobs. And then we are good to go fight one of the bosses. Okay, Ulick. I think this deck setup should do fine with that. I gotta get rid of one of these just to use my gargantuan air, but you know. Or did I get it back in time? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, 6.4k health. I'm definitely gonna be stacking that. Okay, that finishes up Helgrind Warren. Alright, so Yosin. Oh, well, that's cool. I, I beat Ulick, and uh, he spawned anyway. Here comes to take on the little things challenge. Okay, now nah, he despawned. We're good then. Okay, so <laughs> we've got a couple of eels that I just think we need it. And then. Okay. Yeah, we'll be on it. Maybe throw in a few of those. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Generations of our warriors could not do. You have defeated Jotun. All of Grizzleheim is in awe of your mighty deed. I call you the greatest hero I have met. You have proven yourself a mighty warrior. Now I ask if you can demonstrate your wisdom and fairness. The wolves and ravens each make claims that cannot be believed. Accusations fly like arrows, and an outside voice is needed. 
You have seen much in your visits to Grizzleheim, and dealt with wolf, raven, and bear alike. I call upon your counsel in this matter. It matters little what this meddler says or does. Your doom is at hand. I will speak no more, and will be rid of this place. I suspected the treachery of the ravens, but could not prove it. What has happened to our runestone? The same thing happened to our own runestone, though the ravens claimed it was the work of your people. Now we know the truth. It is clear now what has happened. The ravens have deceived us both, pitted wolf against bear. But to what end? Young wizard, it is my right as king to order you to serve us. But for this, I simply ask for your aid. I trust your honor and friendship will sway you. We must learn what the ravens plan, and how they can be stopped. There is a raven I trust, named Raffin Lorespeaker. Go, and speak to Raffin, and see what he knows. You're a long way from home, young wizard. You can trust me. I am a loyal friend to Valgard Goldenblade, and I do not want to see the bears at war with the ravens. This is the work of a group of evil ravens called the Coven. We must learn what they plan and put an end to their mischief. One of our own, a scout named Skullin Icebrand, claimed to have learned terrible news. The Coven captured him and put him in our prison. Go and find out what he learned. Oh, you're in the Coven. You don't belong here. Let's see how you'll fit in a cage. Have you come to free me from this place? I won't risk my life talking to you while I'm a prisoner. If you want to talk to me, you need to free me. That tailor, Ingram Glyphcutter, has the keys to my cell. What are you doing? Get out of here! You find the cell key tied on a cord around the jailer's neck. Thanks for the key. This is what happened to me. I discovered an old scroll while exploring the glacier. I could not read it, so I gave it to a raven in the coven. He read it and grew angry at me. He summoned his brothers in the coven, and they brought me here. They told me to be silent about the scroll. When they left, they said they were taking the scroll to the Tower of Law to keep it safe and secret. That's all I spoke with Skullin Icebrand, yes? Skullin told you that the Coven are keeping that ancient scroll in the Tower of Law, yes? It will be difficult to get you in there. It is a place for shamans and magicians only. You are no doubt a powerful wizard in your own world, but your ways are not our ways. They will let you into the tower if you carry with you a spirit totem. We will make one for you. First, I will need some raven feathers. No, not mine. <laughs> Go and gather feathers from a winter wing battler and bring them back these here. Will do. I will say prayers over these to ready them for your spirit totem. We must have more ingredients for your spirit totem, and you must gather them. Making a totem requires symbols of history, wisdom, and nature. It requires an old bone, an eye of newt, and pure ice water. You should be able to find an old bone somewhere around here. You can find the eye in the raven caves, and you... You collect the oh, old bone, okay. find an old eye of newt. I'm going to leave a mark here, because eventually I have to come back to that, and I'm not really rocking with it. You fill a small bottle with pure ice water. Excellent. All of these will serve us well. Now. You must place the Eye of Newt and the Old Bone into this cauldron to add their mystic essences to your spirit totem. The items you added quickly dissolve into the liquid in the cauldron. Soon the liquid is absorbed into the spirit totem. It seems to glow with power. Now, I must say a quick spell over the spirit totem to complete its enchantment. Raffin utters a powerful rune spell of a type you have not heard before. There you go. Done. What? The pure ice water? Oh, that was for me to drink. Making a spirit totem is hot and thirsty work. 
Skål. You know, I think the voice actor was supposed to like like a like a raven type noise, but he just now, didn't. Now, with the spirit totem, you must pass through the magic wards that guard the Tower of Law. Still, there are mortal guards inside. I am no warrior, so you will have to safeguard the way for me. Once the path is clear, I will meet you inside. Ah, a young wizard wishes to challenge me? Let's duel. Okay, don't know if I'll need that faint, but <laughs> let's go. Which was sort of the goal with that. Your skill in battle is extraordinary. Let me read this scroll now. Rathen reads the ancient scroll. As he reads, he grows alarmed. Oh, this is ill news indeed. This scroll tells of the great and terrible Everwinter, the cold season that will mark the end of the world. This scroll explains the link between the rune stones that grant all magic power in this world. The clans of wolf, bear, and raven each control a rune stone. The stones are connected, and if one is able to capture their magic, they can control all of the magic in Grizzleheim. The ravens seek to do just that thing, to bring about the Everwinter that will wreath the world in ice. We must go. We are in great danger. Meet me back at the cliff entrance. I am afraid for what we have learned. Though it is madness, the Coven wishes to bring about the end of times. We must stop the Coven before they go further. But first, you must be protected against their evil magic. Every raven in our tribe carries a mystic talon. A small charm that protects us from magic. They are not very powerful, but if you gather enough such charms, they may protect you against the rune magic the coven will use against you. Though it pains me to send you against my fellow ravens, the times are dire and our need is great. Go and collect mystic talons from Winter Wing Wardens. Return to me when you have enough. Those will be enough, I think. Now, we need an ice shard from the glacial plains to cleanse the mystic talons. Yes, I should have asked you to bring one when you went for the pure ice water, but I did not know how... You chip away at the ice until you have cut loose a suitable ice shard. Gas. That will do nicely. We can now use it to cleanse the mystic talons and attune them to you. That measure should protect you from some of the Coven's evil rune magic. The names of the members of the Coven are shrouded in darkness and mystery. No raven knows who they are. It is how they rule us, through fear. I know more than most ravens, and I only know of one member of the Coven. A raven named Maud Runechanter. What? You know of him? He wore the shape of Thane Anderson of Anders Holt? I am impressed that you defeated him. His room is not far from here, in the caves. Confront him again and see if he reveals the names of other members of the Covenant. Not up. You again! I should have dealt with you back in Anders Holt. No matter. Your meddling ends here. Matters not. You cannot stop the coven. The Everwinter is at hand. You search through Mord's trunk. 
and discover a scrap of paper with some runic writing on it. The paper has two names on it. Moon and Mistweaver and Cole Shadow Song. You find what you are after. It is unfortunate that Maud escaped, but all is not lost. You know the names of two others in the coven. You must press the attack. Defeat them and see if you can stop their mad plan to sheathe all of Grizzleheim in ice. Did King Valgard send you? He was a fool to send you here. To your doom! Right now, I yeah, work in an HEB, and maybe I should work in an HEB. So I'm saying. But the coven lives on. Our plans are almost complete. There's a couple near me, you know. You find nothing of value in <laughs> no, I just shrugged. Perhaps Cole Shadow Song will have the knowledge you what? need. What? How did you find me? It. Oh, father! You will not leave here alive. <laughs> small scroll detailing the coven's plans. You should take it to Raffin. We are in luck. The coven must perform a ritual on the raven's runestone before they can bring about the Everwinter. They have not yet done so. A ritual that powerful will take time to complete. You have a chance of stopping the coven before it is too late. From the notes you gathered, the coven will have need of two potent artifacts for their ritual, the Gelling Chalice and the Heart of Winter. The Gelling Chalice is a treasured item held by the ravens. You can find it deep within our caves. You must venture once more into the glacial plains for the Heart of Winter. It is a rare and natural item, a locus of power formed in the heart of that glacier. Time is the hound that bites at our heels. You must race to retrieve these items. You have returned, but the news is dire. I do not know how, but the coven has begun the ritual without the gelling chalice and the heart of winter. You must stop them now. They are in the main fortress. A magical barrier blocks your path. You do not know what kind of magic it is. Perhaps Rathen knows? A mystic barrier? How can that be? I know all the secrets of rune magic, and the coven cannot be performing the ritual and keeping a mystic barrier at the same time. Some other force must be at work holding that barrier. If so, it has to be near the fortress, or else it would not work. In the caves, perhaps. You must go to the caves and search for the source of the mystic barrier. Right, time to be the hardest boss not named Jotun. You or think you hear like movement here. up ahead in the cave? Hmm, you are either raven, bear, or wolf. I mean you no harm. I was summoned and bound here by the coven, and I have no choice but to maintain the mystic barrier. Free me, and I will leave this world at once, and the mystic barrier will depart with me. To free me from the binding that holds me here, you will need some summoning dust. 
This dust will help open the roads between the worlds, letting me leave on one of them. Summoning dust is carried by most coven initiates, so it is easily gained. I see that you are industrious and have gathered the summoning dust. Wonderful. Now you can place the summoning dust in that brazier. That's the one. As instructed, you sprinkle the summoning dust into the brazier. It flares and burns off instantly. Now the air is right for a summoning, or a dismissal in this case. Very good. As you are no doubt aware, summoning magic is about sympathy, making one thing resemble another in a spiritual sense. I was summoned by ravens of the coven, and it would be easier if I were dismissed by someone resembling one of them. If you can gather some feathers from my captors, perhaps a coven initiate and a winterwing warden, we will have the elements we need. Your skills are impressive. <laughs> now place the feathers in the brazier, just as you did the summoning dust. The feathers flutter as they are thrown into the brazier. They vanish, one by one in the flames. We are almost ready. My return home is at hand. You have done well, young wizard. When they first summoned me, the ravens of the coven stole a sample of my blood. Blood is what binds me, keeps me in this place. They keep it in a safe place, I am sure. Perhaps within their coven house. If you can recover my stolen blood and restore it to me, then all will be complete. Looking for something? The coven told me you might come sniffing around here, so they sent me here to wait for you. A pity your search will end on my claws. <laughs> kind of wasn't expecting to get that from just like a random boss, but hey, right? I think I will prefer, I, I do prefer my pip chance though. I'll say that right now. Not crap the better thing anyway, so <laughs> as crazy of a drop as that is, there's better that I am after. It doesn't take long to find the vial of Gertok. That's the last of what binds me to this world. Pour it into the brazier. Don't spill a drop. And I will be free. Alright, so this all should work. But yeah, just in case. You pour the vial of Gertok blood into the brazier. It hisses as it touches the fire. You impress me. I must admit that it will be a pleasure to silence you. The secrets of banishing my kind can go no farther. I misjudged your abilities and paid for my mistake. You are a worthy opponent, and I respect that. I wish you good luck with the coven. Perhaps our paths will cross again. If we ever go to Yago, I do want to see him again. Meddling wizard, you cannot hope to stop the coven. Our ritual is all but complete. The Everwinter is almost upon us. So, same deck as Jotun, pretty much. Uh, just need to get this Bale Frost out, and we should be good to go.
but the Everwinter must come. Tell your king that the Everwinter is inevitable. This world will end in ice! <laughs> oh, I'm sure it will. Anyway, I got the Galvanic Blade, which is a cool Storm Wand stitch. These bosses, by the way, uh, they actually drop some really cool wand stitches. The, this Lambent Blade, check this out. Greg, you're going to want this. Look at how cool that looks. If it, if it glowed a little more, it would be even cooler. But yeah. The Reliquary Blade also drops from here. But yeah, basically, there's just a lot of uh, real cool stuff going on there. I also got some... Yeah, Puppet Master's Footwear. So this is some Crowns gear. Which is kind of interesting, but... Neat little drop, to say the least. But yeah. Overall, that, uh... That was not too bad of a fight. It's strange how Mario Kart never became an official eSport, despite its potential, but Overwatch League became a thing, yeah. It's like, Mario Kart at least was balanced. So the devs did that those devs did good with that. Well, Mario Kart does have a large casual fan base, Malfactor, but uh, there there are people there are people who really go hard in the paint on that. I I think it really could have been super competitive. You have done a great thing indeed, far more mighty than any hero of this land. You have saved our world from eternal ice and thwarted an evil conspiracy that set us all at war. All the warriors of Grizzleheim must now look to your legend as an example of what a hero can do. On this day, a mere outlander became the greatest hero in all of Grizzleheim. Your home world awaits. It is certain that fate holds even greater adventures ahead for you. Defeated a great unkindness. Don't you love to see that? Well. I will say this much. That is the end of Grizzleheim. And next up is going to be Winter Tusk. For whenever I talk to Merle next, I guess. But for the time being. That is going to be all for this stream. Um... I guess Greg and me up on Discord for the Kameka Pet Land, but for now, thank you all for watching. I've been Ice Gold. Actually, before I do my outro, let me go talk to Zeke and <laughs> turn in this uh, yard bird quest. You found all ten of them? That's the best darn news I heard all day. Hoo-hoo! Old Zeke owes you one. He certainly does. <laughs> yeah, thank you all for watching. I've been Ice Gold. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a 50 comments for the algorithm. My Discord is down in the description if you want to chat with me some more. And I'll see y'all.